Hello, welcome back uh, to my Apple main stage tutorials. My name is Jürgen Köhler, I'm a keyboard player from Frankfurt, Germany. And today we're going to talk um, about disconnecting um, the old keyboard and change to another keyboard. So, right now um, in the last tutorials we had this small keyboard connected. Uh, to the to main stage and um, a small controller, so we may need a bigger keyboard, more keys. So we're gonna do this today. The thing about main stage is uh, very easy. You can program your sounds at home um, in your studio, and um, then just disconnect the old keyboard and change to another one. So if you have to travel, for example, uh, by plane, um, you just rent uh, some keyboards. Um, local and you just travel with your sound card and with your laptop so that's all you need and you can connect it uh, and use the same sounds if you're on the gig so um, I had a I had a band uh, in uh, about 15 years ago in London and we played all over Europe uh, so we met in London and rehearsed there and the first years I took my Roland XP80 with me by plane <laughs> And uh, a lot of times I had to pay for oversized package. Uh, later I had my Cork Triton with me. Not even better, it's uh, even bigger and heavier. So um, the last years we did that project in London. Um, I programmed my sounds on main stage and just took hand luggage, a laptop and a small sound card and uh, rent uh, some keyboards uh, local in London or wherever we played and connected them and had the same sounds and the same things um, I programmed at home and could play without traveling with all those heavy stuff. So first we have to disconnect uh, this keyboard and the controller. And you see the message that the, the MIDI inputs are no longer available. So I can put that away. And now I just simply connect um, this keyboard uh, via USB to the computer. And I have to connect my MIDI controller to a USB hub. Okay. So this is um, a very light keyboard with 88 keys uh, from M Audio Key Station 88 ES. I think it's the first generation, it's very old, about 15 years. Um, it's very light. Uh, you can even travel by train or living in a city. Uh, you might not use the car um, and because you will not find a parking place uh, at the venue. But uh, with this light 88 keys keyboard you can travel by a cab or by train. So now we have to tell main stage that uh, we have a new keyboard connected and we want to use that one. So I click on the keys, they are marked and now on the left side you find the rider and there it is, USB key station 88S. So I go back from layout to edit and now it should work. All right, that's fine. So right now um, the controller with all the MIDI setup is um, on board, so I can change the volume as we programmed in the tutorials before. Everything works, so that's fine. That's all you need. If uh, you have a MIDI keyboard, you need uh, a MIDI interface uh, from MIDI to USB, but it's quite the same, and you just change the MIDI port uh, in main stage in the layout and then you can use that keyboard as well and still got the same sounds, the same split and the same layer sounds and effects and everything's the same, just the keyboard, just the keys are different. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorials.